Well, hi guys and gals, me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and we have come down here to Goofy's Garage, and we're going to work on the uh, extension wings for the lift, and I thought as long as it was chilly that we come over here and uh, see about doing a cold start on this mower, you know what I mean? So let's see. Uh, I think I can do it without even climbing on because I have the, the clutches all the way down and we'll give it a little bit of throttle we'll pull a choke all the way out like that and then I'll walk over here and we'll give it a crank it's firing so we're going to push the choke in a little bit Gotta love it. That's our old barn fine mower. Ready to do its job no matter what the weather. I I haven't started my uh, newer lawnmower that I bought when I moved down here. It's been down in the back and the tarp is all blown off it and everything. And the roof is about ready to fall in. Got to get out here and do some work on that. But that's all for today. Uh, I got my hood on, hooded sweatshirt on, and I got a hooded jacket on. We're going to work on this today. So uh, hold on to your hats, and I'll get you set up, and we'll go to work. So... We're starting off with our uh, materials list, so you know what we're using. My idea is I'm using 2x12s, one for each side, so we're going to be extending it out. 2x12, uh, you know, it's not really 12 inches wide. It's in this case, it's 11 and 3 16 so that's going to bring it out here. Um, the lift starts off at 26 and 3 quarters wide so it's already over 2 feet wide and we're going to add another basically another 2 feet um, 3 quarters less here 3 quarters less there and we already have made up more than the 3 quarters with the width so it's going to be a little bit over 4 feet wide now the next thing we need to do is we need to cut my 2 by 12s to length these are 8 footers and they are too long at eight feet. And I could leave them at eight feet and leave them hanging out down the end here. And I actually even thought about doing that. Let me uh, slide this down here and I could make it come to the end up here. I have my winch on this end here, so I wouldn't want it going past the winch anyway. I don't believe. So if I make that flush there, and uh, let me see, what is the, I can't remember what the overall length is here. I just came out and I haven't measured any of this stuff out. At the moment, I had it in my head before, it's seven foot two and a half inches thereabouts, it's metric probably. It's uh, 86 and almost three quarters of an inch long. So with the eight footer, it would extend it out another nine, nine and five eighths, not a nine and three eighths longer. And I could leave it hanging out the end, but I'm thinking that I would rather have the extra walking room. And the Goofy Cart, I know, already fits on the lift. I know that a lawnmower will fit on the lift. So I'm going to mark these and cut them to length so that they're the same length as the lift. And uh, so that's the first thing for me to do, to mark them and then cut them. Then, from there, 
you'll see that I already have one pipe stuck in place here. And what I'm using is one inch black pipe. And I wasn't thinking this is one inch ID. And I went and bought one inch muffler clamps because that's what I'm using to hold them in place. And you can see the leverage that it has. I don't know if you can see that. Let me uh, zoom you in a little bit more. Now you can see this. When I push down, it's actually bending the lift itself. And there's not going to be that much weight on it um, because you got four four wheels and tires. So the weight's going to be spread out. And uh, so what I'm doing is you put a muffler clamp, one muffler clamp like this, and on these Harbor Freight lifts there's already a pair of holes here and another pair down about here. And uh, I'm starting with the middle one and I've got inch and a quarter uh, muffler, inch and a quarter, no I've got inch and a half clamps because uh, most automotive parts stores don't have inch and a quarter and inch and an, uh, an inch and an eighth or inch and three eighths. The best fit for this would be inch and three eighths. Best fit for the pipe, it would work with the holes that are already here. What I'm doing is I'm taking my inch and a half and I'm bending them enough so that they'll fit into the holes that are here already. I'll be drilling another pair of holes down almost to the end and I don't know if you can see my, yeah you can, almost down to the end here. I'm going to be putting another pair here and then if I come up here to this end and I lift this up, if I can do this without knocking everything over, come down to this end and we're going to put another pair probably right about here. You can see, or maybe not, you can't see. You can see that back here is the pair that are already on the lift. But I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use, um, I'm probably going to come in like six inches. I'm going to come in about a uh, little less than a foot. We're going to say I'm going to mark it at 10. I'm going to come in 10 inches here and I'm going to come in 10 inches from the end, far end down there, so that we'll have a pipe here, like this. Meow. See, we'll have another one here. We'll have one in the middle, like you've already got there. And then, we'll have another one down about here. And there's a brace underneath the lift here that is five and three eighths inches in, and that's what my pipe is going to butt against, just like that. That's what this one is. See that? It goes in there. They had 30 inch pieces of this one inch black iron pipe at the lumber yard where I got these, so I bought three of them and I split each one in half so these are 15 inches long they run in and they butt you guys you, you don't not follow me very well they butt against that bar down under there and of course you can't see because my hands in the way and my arms in the way and this is really a good video isn't it sticks out about 10 inches I was going past the brake. Sticks out about 10 inches here. And knowing that our plank is 11 and an eighth, that way the plank will be hanging over the pipe a little bit so you won't have pieces of pipe hanging out to grab you. And the idea is now, you watch, watching here, pay attention now. These are going to go on like this. And these will get clamped down onto the 2x12 like this. 
And all those things do, those, you could say, George, well, those, those clamps there, which are not very heavy duty, I admit they're not very heavy duty, but they're heavy duty enough because all they're doing is locating this. They're not holding any weight because this is going to be like that, okay? So you'll never see the pipes once these are in place, all right? So we'll have three pipes on each side with these clamped on and only one, only one muffler clamp on each one like this one has right here only one because that's all it takes because the pressure is out here if I put one in there further in it wouldn't do anything other than hold it straight well we're gonna hold it straight with these clamps here alright so I've talked told you all of that stuff so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut my pieces to length, I'll bring them back, and I'll drill my pair of holes here, and a pair of holes down that end, we'll mount all three of our pipes, then we'll set our 2x12 on top of that, and I will screw the clamps up, and by making sure that these are square on here, when I put them on, and I'll make sure they're square in place here on the lift and I'll tighten them down once I get them all tight and get them all in place make sure everything is square like that then I'll cut these pieces off here so they're not sticking way up you know what I mean and I, I probably will make them so they're flush with the lip uh, on the lift because you know these uh, Harbor Freight lifts have like a half inch lip and again it's probably metric yeah it's a little bit more than half inch and our 2 by 12 is inch and a half thick so it's going to stick up here about an inch above the lift well, that's not a problem for me um, it, would never be a problem working on a lawnmower with it being up and actually it would give you a little more clearance underneath for working on and of course if you're going to work on a bicycle or a motorcycle or something like that these are made on purpose this, this design of mine is done on purpose so that these can be taken off and you have your lift free without the extensions on it and for me in my small shop here and it is pretty small, you know. Um, walking room is at a premium. You know what I'm saying? So when I get this one put in place, let me show you. Just for the sake of commentary. See, that's what we're going to have it. And I'm going to end up with... Uh, I could probably move this lift a little bit the other way, but I'm only going to have like 18 inches of walking space around the edges. That's in the middle. Um, and I'll have a little bit more where the benches come out. But uh, yeah, and that's enough for me to scoot through and enough for me to work on the lift. And it, so it'll be sitting up, like I said, it's going to be sitting up well, about an inch and a quarter. That's the way it's reading there. So I'm going to cut these to length and I'll bring them back in and I'll get them mounted up and I'll bring you back. And the last thing I'm going to do after I get this all put together I'm going to paint these pieces. Yes sir Bob I am. So uh, yep. So let me get going and I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Oh it'll only be it'll only be like this for you. Bingo!
just a random number that I chose the way it looked happens to be two inches from the inside edge and then seven inches out and I marked it so that when I flip it over I could set these in place where they go from underneath and you'll notice that these pipes have the plastic on them because these are threaded pipes and I probably uh, could have done it a little less expensively by getting it in longer stock but I was in my car and it seemed like a convenient thing for me to do to just get 30 inch pieces and split them in half and I think I got them I got them at my local lumber yard which also has hardware department so my next chore is to crawl underneath put these clamps up okay so you can see my marks up here and I just put these up and it's not rocket science it don't have to be exactly on your marks it just looks nicer and it keeps it evenly spaced and I'm gonna double check my square ness my square ness and the reason I want them square is so that I can slide them out without them binding and we'll see how that works out helps if you don't shake so much George all screwed in place so then all I have to do when I'm ready to pull this apart is uh, from the top I'll just loosen the bolts up here on all three of the pipes and then I can slide it out and now that we're under here you can see the brace that they run up against this one here which runs the full length of the lift and that's the main framework for the lift underneath the deck and it also happens to be the part where our um, lift arms and everything work off of so that's how it looks you can see the ones on the other side are over there okay so I'm gonna finish up these last couple and then I'll bring you back now it's time to uh, test the proof of the pudding and uh, to do that I've already loosened up to the clamp. I'm going to loosen up this last one. Theoretically, if everything works according to my plan, I should be able to just slide it right out of place. Let's see what happens. There you have it. And then get one started. Of course, as always, it's better if you get them in straight, obviously. There we go. It's not rocket science. So there you go removable ramps for your harbor freight motorcycle lift I have the last two clamps are different they're uh, 3 8 uh, bolt on them which I wished all of them were but the first park store I went to only had two and I ended up having to go to another place and theirs were all 5 16 not a major problem.
So the final test will be, of course I tighten that all down and uh, I still want to loosen them back up, pull them back off, pull them out a little bit so I can paint. But the final test is going to be when we bring the goofy card in. Now I could tip the lift pretty easy with all the weight on one side. So it's not made for a one side operation. But with the weight equally supported, and I can't see myself in my monitor, so I don't know if you can see me or not, but with it equally supported on both sides, it should be just fine and dandy. And we're going to find out for sure, and this is George at 190 pounds bouncing on it, you know what I'm saying? We're going to find out for sure if it'll hold the goofy cart, which I have no doubt it will. Uh, not this week, but this next coming week, Lord willing. Until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for watching, for commenting, for subscribing, and I really, whoa, I really appreciate the thumbs up that you give, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye for now. Well, it's still wet, but you get the idea. Yee-haw!